Evan Fletcher Brown, another artist video blog at kicks96country.com. Our guest today, all the way from Missouri, please welcome Candy Coburn. Now, Candy, welcome to Kicks. Thank you. Now, you're from a lot of different places. I mean, you were like, born in West Kentucky, ended yeah. up moving to Texas, you landed in Missouri. I'm where, all do you, over. where do you call them? I still say I'm from Kentucky. You know, I'm such a Kentucky girl, and I can't lose the accent, so, you know, that's part of that. But, um, Moved to Missouri in junior high, high school time. Went to college there at University of Missouri. And then my dad's been in Houston pretty much all my life. So kind of all around. But um, I don't know what you call it. They call it, somebody said the tri-breed, whatever that means. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I still I still play pretty much Kentucky as my homeland. Now, you consider yourself like a, a country rocker kind of, don't you? Yeah, I mean, the, somebody said this because they kept asking, you know, what do you like? What's the cross between, you know, kind of thing? And I didn't make it up, but somebody said after seeing my show one night, they said, you know, you're like Garth Brooks meets Janis Joplin. And I said, hey, I'll so take that. I mean, because mm -hmm. Garth Brooks is, I just want to be the girl Garth Brooks, honestly, when I started this whole thing. So, <laughs> you know, um, that's kind of how our show is. It's a total rocking show. Um, we don't have any ballads. We're going to do one for you today to prove I can do one. And it's coming out on the radio soon. But um, we really like to have a, a show that is different from the record. So when people spend their money they worked on all week to come out and, and get a ticket, that they're going to get something totally different. And if you weren't there, you missed it. So um, we do you know, some covers here and there, but they're not anything like you heard them. And we like to mess stuff up pretty good. So And my, my band's fantastic, you know. They've been with me a long time, and um, super talented musicians. Now you, um, you you came to rock kind of late because I don't I believe if I, if I remember correctly, you listened to everything from, or at least you you grew up with everything from Glenn Miller to George Jones. You were like a you're like an encyclopedia. Well, Man, what, you did your work. <laughs> I just I saw osmosis sitting as close to you, just that's good, that's good. in my brain. Good. Um, yeah, that's kind of been a funny story because you know my grandmothers were huge influences in my life growing up, and one of my grandmothers, Loma Jean Borders, is her name, um, which is the name of my record label, Loma Jean Records. She just taught us to sing when we were tiny, and I loved it. And uh, we weren't allowed to listen to anything on the radio, really. You weren't allowed to? No, not really. You know, I mean, the devil's music. I mean, the devil's music, big time. And if you said the word devil, it was a big deal. You got spanked for it. I mean, it was crazy. I mean, she was super strict. So. We would listen to Glenn Miller and, you know, some country and western stuff, but, you know, definitely no rock and roll. And my concert, first concert experience was going to tent revivals. So, I mean, I grew up on gospel and the four harmony, four bar harmonies, and I mean, that's what I thought everything should be like, you know. So, that's kind of really influenced, like, how I write songs and what I think that, you know, the show should be and stuff like that. Because, you know, it really is a foundation that has stuck, and now that all these other great, you know, blues and um, rock and roll and different things that I'd never heard until probably high school. You know, it's just really all blended in. So most people, when they come to the show, they say, you know, I don't like country, but I love your show, and or vice versa. And I think it kind of crosses over, and that's, you know, we're pretty proud of that. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's talk about this album. We're talking about okay. Lucky. Lucky is, now, this yeah. album is actually available now. You go to yes. or iTunes, or iTunes and all over the place. All yeah. right, um, there's a song on this album. Um, uh, I imagine breast cancer is uh, something that uh, is near and dear to you that right. as far as the cause goes. And Pink Warrior, is uh, the, that's for, um, what is that for? Well, you know, I was talking about my two grandmothers. The yeah. other grandmother was a second grade teacher, could not carry a tune in a bucket at all, bless her heart. But she was just the light of her community. And um, she fought breast cancer for 10 years of her life. So when I was working on this record, and I really thought there should be some song for anybody going through cancer, not just breast cancer. So I got together with some good girlfriends of mine, songwriters in Nashville, and we wrote the song really fast. I thought it might take two or three years for anybody to even hear the song, for a cause especially. But two months later, um, Dallas office and Susan G. Comer for The Cure, they got on a conference call and said, hey, we not only like it to be the theme song, but also have you out as an ambassador on the road for your tour, raising awareness. And mm -hmm. So the song is now the theme song, and um, it's on the record. You also get it you know, as a single on iTunes, but all the profits of the song go to Coleman in breast cancer. And we've actually been 30 states across the whole country, 160 shows last year, many of them being events that are you know benefiting that and being a part of it. It's been the coolest thing I've done so far, for sure, in my career. Well, now that your current single out the radio, do you want it? That's not on Lucky. No, it's not. You can't. But the cool thing is, free. Mm -hmm. I love that free. word. I love it's the best free. thing ever. Great word. Love my sponsors. Gotta love them. Um, Texas Roadhouse Restaurants, um, fantastic company. They are actually sponsoring this song and kind of what we're doing on the road. So you can go to my website today for us being in here and just punch all's call letters. And you can get the song for free right now, thanks to them. 
a free. I've been on the website. Our callers yeah. are totally there. Yeah, they're there. Just punch them, and um, it's called Do You Want It? It's really rock and roll and fun, and um, I'm kind of rapping a little bit on it. So it's way outside my comfort zone, totally, but if people are digging it, and they're using it for a lot of sporting events, mm -hmm. and, you know, it's just kind of a fun song, and they do a line dance to it, which I can't do. Don't ask me to. Um, at the Texas Roadhouse, so um, they're a great, great sponsor that still believes in music. They have a jukebox in there playing music from a lot of different artists. Um, so it's been really cool working with them, and you can also go to their website with this and get like a free appetizer, coupon, and things like that. So they're really cool to work with. All right. Well, you know what? Um, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna get out of the way. You're, you're gonna play. Do you want it? Because we want you to go yeah. to the website. We want you to get yeah. that song. So we just gotta keep playing other songs. So yeah. they'll, they'll so buy the record and. I'm gonna get away. I'm gonna let her hip hop band K Josh go here. K J Express. Hey, Express. Your name. They just made up. K Josh. I'm gonna give K Josh and Candy Crush. K Josh is even better. You just trumped it. K Josh. Because we're awesome. We're gonna let them play. What are you gonna play for us? We're gonna play. Like I said, I'm gonna prove we can do a ballad because we rock and roll. But we're gonna do a song called "Don't Walk Away," which Josh and I wrote with a friend of ours down two and a half years ago in Texarkana after a show. And all the fans have told us for two and a half years, this has to be the song that goes out. But I'm kind of been a rocker, and with all the powers that be that get involved in your career, you can't put out a ballad. You know, have to put out something rocking. So after all this time, we're so excited it's going to go out in December. And um, people just totally respond to this song, so hopefully everybody will dig it. We have a video of it right now on the website. You can check it out. Um, and, and give us your opinion. We'd love to hear it. But uh, we're going to do it acoustic today. And then we got a couple other songs on the record, however long you want us to play. We'll, we'll just hang. So. All right, we're going to yeah. hang with Candy Cobra and K Josh right here. <laughs> Kissonly6country.com. <laughs> this is called Don't Walk Away, our new single coming out. One, two, three, four. Just a little more 
中。